Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah, if you're new here, and welcome to another episode of What's on My Shelf. I've talked about this in other videos, but the shelves of books you see behind me, I want to reflect my reading tastes and the books that I actually keep are the ones I would like to promote. In this series, I'm going to be highlighting specific books on my shelves and I'm going to be talking about books in different types of categories. So the first episode of this we talked about all of my sapphic sci-fi <laughs> on my shelves. In this video I just want to look at pretty books and obviously aesthetics are subjective so this is just my opinion but I'm going to go through all of my most beautiful books that I think uh, I own. So we're going to talk about the the cover, the, the spines, the sprayed edges, if I have any, uh, and who illustrated or did the design for the cover. Let us get into it because the stack of books is quite large. First, we're gonna start with all of the hard covers that I have, and then we'll go to paperbacks in just a minute. But the first one I wanna highlight is Sleeping Giants by Sylvan Neuville, specifically this hard cover. And from the front, it doesn't look like anything special, but the reason I love this particular book aesthetically is because of what's underneath. Look at that. The naked hardcover is spectacular, in my opinion. So Sleeping Giants came out in 2016, and the jacket design was done by a company called Face Out in collaboration with a person named Charles Brock. And then the art was done by Charles Brock and a Shutterstock. So I think they used uh, Shutterstock stars for the stars on both the hardcover and the dust jacket, but Charles Brock did the illustration for the rest of the book. This is an adult sci-fi story told in interview style. I love this book personally, and I just love how detailed it is. I wonder if I can do close-ups. It's really shiny. Uh, the light's hitting it. The next hardcover I have is All the Bad Apples by Maura Fowley Doyle. Normally, I hate people, like photographs of people on the covers. There are a few exceptions, and this is one of them. This is a young adult. I would say it's contemporary with a splash of fantasy thrown in, and this is about a girl whose family is cursed, and she is uncovering the truth of her family and discovering her heritage, as well as learning some uncomfortable truths about herself, but there are some fantasy elements with the curse. And this is so beautiful, it's so heartbreaking, and I think the cover really reflects the nature of the book. It's about women in history who have been silenced, and this book is about reclaiming your voice and speaking out. This came out in 2019. The front image was photographed by someone named Inez Rayberger? Rayberger? And the design of the cover along with the photograph was done by Lindsay Andrews. Next we have my very few uh, sprayed edge books. This is Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Now, I don't think the front covers are particularly special. They kind of reflect the young adult fantasy genre um, and the vibe of these books. I don't particularly love the covers, but I did go out of my way to get the uh, black and red sprayed edges. Six of Crows came out in 2015 and Crooked Kingdom came out in 2016. The covers were done by Rich Diaz and then in Crooked Kingdom, there are a few other contributors. Thomas Walker, John Bartlett, and Rich Diaz for Crooked Kingdom. But I just wanted the sprayed edges. One of my favorite front covers of all time that I'm 
considering getting tattooed on my body permanently forever is the diabolic as soon as i saw this cover i had to buy it, it is a young adult sci-fi series i love this trilogy to death this is about nemesis who is a genetically modified human who has been engineered to protect the protect royalty her kind they're called diabolics uh have been tasked with protecting the royal family and the members of the court in space essentially this is fantastic this has so many fun tropes in it very fast paced pretty violent for a young adult and i am obsessed with the butterfly the butterfly knives <laughs> see what they did there this was published in 2016 by simon simon and schuster and the cover was done by a studio called there is studio and I'm obsessed. I don't particularly like the other covers in this series, but this one is the standout. Last hardcovers we have are the UK editions of Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. And Muse of Nightmares has the orange sprayed edges. The, the first one does not have sprayed edges, but I got the UK edition. So I went to Book Depository for these paid extra <laughs> weighted months uh, and they were so worth it. I love, love these covers. This is a YA bordering on adult fantasy duology about Laszlo Strange who is obsessed with this lost city that he's been studying forever and one day emissaries from that city appear on his doorstep and things go crazy from there. This is an incredible duology. I love Lainey Taylor forever. She needs to come out with something new. I'm desperate for more. <laughs> Strange the Dreamer came out in 2017, Muse of Nightmares in 2018, at least from the UK printings, and the covers were both designed by Jen... Jantine? Jantine Zandberger, and she did an amazing, amazing job. Those are all the hardcovers. Let's get into the paperbacks. First, we'll, we'll do some nostalgia favorites. So I particularly love my 90s copies of the Song of the Lioness Quartet. Uh, let me go through them really quick so you can see. So we've got Alana, The First Adventure. Let's see a close up of the illustration. We've got In the Hand of the Goddess. My thinkies. The woman who rides like a man. And Lioness Rampant. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I kind of love these trade paperback market, mass market paperback covers. I love them dearly. <laughs> with my whole heart and I was just so nostalgic for these covers. So these came out um, in 1997. These were reprinted in 1997 but they originally came out in 83, 84, 86, yes, and 88. Uh, so this is not like the first edition or anything. These are the 1990s uh, trade paperback releases. And all of these covers were designed by someone named Joyce Patty. Thank you so much for these. These mean everything to me. Love these. And we have uh, I my beat up, <laughs> my beat up copy of The Hobbit. And I know you cannot see the detail on this very well because it's so scratched and old, but I love the way books age and I just love this particular copy of The Hobbit. The Hobbit was originally released in 1937. The cover was done in 1981 and this particular book was printed in 1982. This is my dad's copy so it's pretty sentimental to me. I, I want to throw up a picture if I can find it of the actual cover art in its glory. I know mine doesn't look like this anymore but I still love it nonetheless. And the cover art, the painting, was done by Daryl K. Sweet. And we have the UK editions of the first three books in the Mistborn series. 
which includes The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. And I hate pretty, pretty much all the covers for this series, uh, except for the UK editions. <laughs> I really don't like the US editions, so I again went to Book Depository to get these. And this is a very famous adult fantasy series. This book itself was published by Golans in the UK in 2009. The text is originally from 2006. And the cover art, the cover illustration is done by someone named Sam Green. and. I thought this was interesting. It is printed from trees grown from sustainable forests, which I appreciate a lot. I'm sorry about this one, but we have to talk about my three copies of Graceling. I don't own duplicate copies very often, but this is an exception. And I just want to show you for comparison the, the different covers. So this was the book I bought in 2008 when this originally came out. I love this series so much. The cover photo, the little eye, was taken by Steve Gardner, and then the design was done by Pixel Works Studios. They reused the image in the 10 year anniversary edition, which came out in 2018, except the design, the rest of the design of the cover was done by Lisa Vega. Lisa Vega did this one, very classic. 2000s young adult fantasy artwork but in 2021 this masterpiece came out for four books for all four books in the Graceling Realms uh, series thus far and I had to buy these. These are very modern, very colorful, very ethereal. It's illustrated, it's foiled, you can see the shininess. And I absolutely love these. I love all, all of these covers because of their place in history and in my heart. And this cover was, so like I said, 2021 is when this came out. The new covers were designed by Kiri Huang and they did incredible. Last couple of books we have to talk about have the entire Xenogenesis trilogy which is also been renamed Lilith's Brood, which includes Dawn, that, Adulthood Rights, and Imigo. Now these books were re-released in 2021, but originally they came out in 87, 88, and 89. And all of these covers were designed by Jim Tierney. And I just think these are so beautiful and some of the mo most beautiful covers I've ever seen, period. But I think for this book, I think this is one of the most pretty covers that this book has ever had in its history, in my opinion. I would love to get my hands on the original copies, the, the ones from the 80s. I think they would be really pretty too. But I think these are, again, so modern, so colorful and just, really beautiful and striking images as well as like the shapes and whatnot are very blocky and I just love it. The last couple of books we have to talk about is uh, Escaping Exodus and its sequel Escaping Exodus Symbiosis both by Nikki Drayden. An adult sci-fi series um, about sapphic people and they are on a giant alien that can traverse space and they are harvesting it from the inside for natural resources and there's a lot of politics uh, on board the ship and this is about basically two main characters who are in love with each other they've been best friends forever but one is the princess and one is a lowly worker essentially and i just think again these covers are so modern and bright and not necessarily happy like these two characters are reaching for each other very dramatically these covers are very dramatic and i think they reflect um the contents of the book really really well hi so editing hannah here i'm working on my video right now um but i lost a clip <laughs> i was interrupted uh, while I was filming because my mom came over. <laughs> I 
to give us uh, dinner for the night, which is very sweet of her. But I forgot to finish the rest of this clip. So I just wanted to pop in and give you the final details. So like I was saying, Escaping Exodus came out in 2019 and Symbiosis came out in 2021. The cover design was by Richard L. Aquan and the cover art was by Courtney Sieg Howlett. Sorry about that. In my opinion, those are the most beautiful books that I have on my shelves. What do you think? I love uh, many, many books uh, aesthetically on my shelves, but I think these are the standouts for me personally. We are judging books by their covers today. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts on all these books in the comments down below, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!